my next question is about Omega, your Omega Supreme that you guys did animated. Yeah. Why did it, so I, in the first episode, I remember the ship being Omega Supreme. That's what I remember. Hmm. Why, why did you guys make Omega Supreme the ship and then just, and then a couple, like, then a couple, like, episodes, like, later or seasons really forgot, it transformed into the robot. Like, right. Why did you guys do that? And, like, kind of build it up? Uh, well, they never made the toy. Um, we wanted we wanted a That's big surprise. <laughs> um, we just wanted a big surprise uh, to end the season, and um, I think that was always the plan um, that the ship would eventually be revealed to be uh, Omega Supreme, or that that may have been something that evolved over time. Um, but you just you know, you want you want to end with something really big and really surprising, and and that felt big and surprising. I also want to commemorate all of you guys because you guys did an amazing job on all the artwork too. All right. For all the toys and stuff. Thank you. Yes. Glad you liked it. Yes. As soon as Derek gets here, we're gonna we're gonna get you to shake hands with Derek too. Yeah. Cause it really I mean it it, it really has a lot, if not all, to do with with Derek because um, as Eric was saying, just seeing those designs blew his mind as a designer and it blew my mind as a writer because I, you can see just in a still image you could see personality you could see expression on these faces and it it told you so much about who the characters were and what the tone of the show was going to be um, and I, I can't credit him enough and uh, I wish he'd show up <laughs> so I can credit him maybe in, almost enough <laughs> Um, for Omega I think, Supreme? Yeah, that... I mean, we, 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 when Derek and I were kind of mapping out what he was going to look like in his robot mode, I kind of had planted some seeds. Like, I need to help Derek make this, like, functionally work so the toy could look like it. So um, I had pitched it a couple of times. Like, I wanted to do it as a designer. But, you know, at, at that point in time... It was it was a funny toy line because it had a delay in launch because they they were still coming off the movie one toys, and then we we're kind of ramping up for movie two, so animated kind of got sandwiched by the movies and and everything got truncated and I think in large part because of what was happening with the movies and then also what was happening behind the scenes with them trying to start their own studio, Hasbro at the Hub Studio and stuff like that. So everything was just kind of sh shaking around and and. Um, Making a toy that you know we knew was going to be a, a fifty, sixty dollar toy was not something that they wanted to commit to at that time. But I wish they would have. Yeah, there were. I think there were a few decisions that sort of got mixed economically, but we still kind of pushed them story wise just mm. in case. Yeah. Like we were, we were planning to do a combiner with yeah. the Constructicons. Yeah. And we always left room for it, um, but but ultimately it just was going to be too expensive yeah. to do. Well, I mean, it's one of those situations. That, yeah, the toys are going to be what they are. They're they're going to be on the expensive side, you know, depending on the size of things. But like, I think it was more a question of time and what what Hasbro wanted to focus on at that time. You know, just kind of ramping up to to the to the movies. I also still don't know. Still do not know how you guys made those toys. How they <laughs> I actually still don't. Magic. Thanks. <laughs> Magic. Design magic. <laughs>